All right, this is fifth grade, module five, lesson nine. And in this lesson, students are going to be taking what they've learned about volume, finding how to find volume. Of course, it's length times width times height. But up until this point, we've been giving the boxes to the students with all the dimensions nicely, neatly written in there. So in this lesson, students are going to be going around the house, going around the classroom, and finding boxes and then measuring the three dimensions that they need to measure, uh, measure length, width, and height. And this adds this new level of complexity because suddenly students are kind of forced to think about like, what is length? What is width? How do I find it if it's not neatly written on the worksheet? So that's what this lesson is about. So let's get going. So we're going to look around for prisms around our house. We got lots of them. And so I just grabbed some example. This, here's, a, here's a prism, a rectangular prism. Yes, it's a cube, um, but that's okay. And we can use this cube to measure the length, width, and height. Now, the idea is if you're looking at this rectangular prism, it's like, well, what is the length, width, and height? How do I measure those three different um, dimensions? And here's a little trick. And the idea is pick a corner, any corner, and imagine it being circled. Well, in fact, I'll actually circle it. I will circle it with red. Okay, so here is my corner right here. Now, you'll notice there's three lines shooting off from that corner. Those are the three dimensions that you need to measure. A length, width, and height. Whatever you want to, it doesn't really matter what's called length, which one's width, and which one's height. But if you've got this corner, that's going to give you all three dimensions that you need to measure. So what we're going to do is, we're using some sort of ruler, you're going to measure this guy right here. There's your, let's call that the length. And then you're going to measure this guy right here. Let's call that the width. And then lastly, oh, let's do it in green. Uh, lastly, you're going to measure the height right here. And those are the three measurements that you're going to measure with your ruler. And ideally on this one, because it's a cube, you're probably going to get the same answer all three times. But in doing that, you'll record your numbers over here, length, width, and height. And then what are you going to do? Well, the volume is found by multiplying the length times the width times the height. And there you go. Another example of a box that you might find around the house is a cereal box. And again, the, the big question is, well, where, what are we supposed to measure? So once again, the idea is find a corner, and that is going to be the three lines that you are going to measure, the three edges that you're going to measure. So if I were to like look at that corner way down here, in fact, I'll zoom in a little bit, if I were going to measure uh, the dimensions of this box, I would choose this corner, and then that corner is going to help me uh, figure out, whoa, yikes, that, that one corner is going to help me figure out the three dimensions of my box. So the idea is, uh, let's see, I'm going to measure this edge right here. In fact, let me make that a thicker pen. Okay, I'm going to measure this edge right here because that's one corner. And I'm going to measure this edge right here, and then I'm going to measure this edge right here. And so if you wanted to, you can kind of move them aside, and there you go. There's the three edges that we're going to measure, the height, the width, and the length, I guess, is good enough. Keeping in mind, what are you going to do once you've got those three measurements? How do you find your volume? Well, volume is equal to length times width times height. Oh my goodness, that's a funky looking time sign. Times and times. All right, there you go. And the last example, uh, we actually could, we have a choice, don't we? We could either measure the lid or we can measure the box itself. I think I'm going to go classic, measure the box itself. And once again, what are we going to be measuring? Well, find your corner or your corner. Any corner would work. Uh, uh, let's do this top one. So we're going to find this corner, and that's going to give us the three edges that we need to measure. 
And so the first edge, I guess in no particular order, one edge is that guy. Another edge is this guy. I guess that's going to be the height. And then the last one is this edge right here. And so you can see there's our three dimensions. Um, if we wanted to, we could, we could identify, oh, let's make that the height. Let's make that the width. Let's make this the height. I mean the uh, width, uh, length, width, length. That's not height, length. There you go. And so what's our volume? Well, volume is equal to length times width times height. And that wraps up. Kind of a fun one because students actually get to just have fun around the house. That's grade 5, module 5, lesson 9, actually using the concepts that they've been learning around the house in the real world.